Hello everyone and welcome to Crash TV 33, the first of a two-part special on Big Surf Island. My name's Island Pete, I was the producer on the island and I'm here with the noob himself. <laughs> hey, I'm Tommy, uh, I was a designer on the island and also if you've been checking out our news stories on the Criterion Games Network, you might recognise some of the stories I've written under my alter ego, Lord Noob. Okay, so in part one today, we're going to take you on a tour of the island, show you uh, a couple of the new vehicles, and set the style and the tone of the whole place. Why is this an incredible place to take a burnout vacation? And in part two, we're going to go in depth on the all new island license, the on and offline progression you'll be able to play through, and tease you with even more of the new vehicles. So we want to start a tour off of the island, and the first thing you'll notice after you've purchased this new Big Stuff Island, island pack is that the whole game feels fresh, doesn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful new fresh experience. We've changed the colors, we've changed the logos. We just want the game to feel like it's always evolving. On top of that, there's a great new vehicle that you can drive straight away after you purchase this pack, isn't there? Yes, yeah, so the first thing you're going to get is you're going to get this new car. It's the Carson Dustal. Yeah, we teased this car a very long time ago, didn't we? And I know people got quite excited about it. So what's so special about this Dustal? Well, first of all, it was it was designed designed for gameplay specifically for the island. So it's naturally it's a stunt boost car. It's designed for doing massive jumps, uh, driving fast. It's amazing at barrel rolls. Um, it's not too bad at flat spins as well. It just looks sweet, doesn't it? We don't really have anything like this in Burnout Paradise so far, so it's quite exciting to get people let people get their hands on this mobile. So we're going to start by driving down Angus Wharf, quickest way to get to the island. So. Um, you, you'll probably have seen driving down Angus Wharf before the island was, was released. You can actually see parts of the island in the distance, but you'll, you'll notice from, from this video how, how different it looks now. And you can actually start to see some of the buildings and stuff across the water. You can actually see more detail on the bridge. And the way you access the island is, is through Paradise Keys Bridge, which connects just to the top of Force Street. Having half of the bridge under construction just makes it such an incredible playground, doesn't it? It's, it's a beautiful place to go. You've got the racing route on the left-hand side, looking towards the island on the right. It's just jump mayhem. So this is Paradise Keys Bridge, and this is quite an exciting moment, really. This is this is brand new Paradise City. You yeah, know? It's, it's like the first time you're actually going to leave Paradise City. Exactly. We've, we've, done, we've done some incredible things with DLC over the last year, but we've never added a whole new place to go yeah. you know this is, we've added bikes which gave you a new experience we've added incredible legendary cars but this is new road so here's the sign to big surf island welcoming you to the this new vacation so there on the right of uh, paradise keys bridge is one of our competition winners buildings so uh dbc 9 mx won a competition on crash tv and he named this building after his son taylor j so this is taylor j towers so this is quite incredible you know it's the community coming back into our game there are loads more exciting buildings all around Big Surf Island. Keep an eye out for things like the Inspiral Car Park and uh, the Parents Point Lighthouse and many, many more. So one of the first things you'll have noticed straight away is how different um, some of the locations around here look. You've probably seen some of the billboards, uh, some of the adverts, and, and they're looking completely different from how they are in Paradise. <laughs> One of the funny things we did, we have these different characters on uh, the Crash TV network. We've got Island Pete, we've got Webster Hoff, we've got Sergeant Sullivan. So we thought we'd put them into the games. So Tommy, the smashes and billboards look great. So do you want to give us some details? How many are there? So yeah, so while you're driving around, you're going to be able to find 45 new billboards on the island. Wow. And they're going to be hidden in all sorts of places, so they might just be over jumps, but some of them you're going to really have to explore to find them. The island, it's not just about driving on the roads on the island though, is it? It's, it's about getting off-road. Yeah, and, and to help you do that, to uh, highlight where all, the, where all the shortcuts are, we've served up another 75 smashes for you to go and collect, and you'll see them while you're racing around, and they'll, they'll take you onto all the secret areas on the island. And there's quite a few secret areas. Yeah. yeah. And you want to make sure you can look out for them all, because we've got some pretty cool rewards for finding them all. So one of the other cool features that we've talked about with the island is that it features the biggest jumps in Paradise, and some of these jumps are absolutely massive. Uh, and the, the biggest jumps in the game are called Mega Jumps. Yeah, they're so big, super wasn't really a big yeah. enough word, was it? Exactly. So there's 15 of these for you to find. One of the really big jumps is on the uh, Paradise Keys Bridge, and this, you know, you get to jump over the uh, the goalpost jump, as we call it. You know, it's like scoring a touchdown every time, isn't it, Tommy? It's yeah, it is, and it's absolutely huge. While this jump seems quite big compared to Paradise things, you know, this is the entrance way to the island, so this is by no means the biggest jump. Yeah, some of the some of the biggest jumps you'll have to find for yourself. So, Tommy, do you want to show us one of the other big jumps? Yeah, on this the one, my, this is one of my favourite ones. So we've got a lighthouse here, and we've got a little shortcut underneath it, but. The cool kids, what they do is they jump right through it. Absolutely. So if I hit it fast enough, I can just get a nice jump all the way through it. Oh, beautiful. 
So one of the things we've always said, and I'm sure we've said it on podcasts before, is that, you know, when we designed the island, we really wanted to set out with the mantra of if you can see it, you can drive it. And Tommy, you were involved in the design of this. Do you think we've got there? Yeah, well, because we just wanted to make it with... I guess we got a bit bored of being confined by roads in other games and we just wanted to make it that you know you, you see a billboard up there you see a jump up there you see your friend up there and you actually want to go and meet him as well and you don't want to be confined by barriers so you probably noticed that Big Surf Island is about the same size as Downtown Paradise but actually because, because we've packed it so full of dense gameplay the actual amount of things you can do there are greatly increased so even when you're in the middle of uh, in, in the middle of mid midtown, because of the fact that you can drive over all the buildings and all the buildings are connected, all the rooftops are connected, the spaces that you can actually play in, the playground, is much bigger. So this car park's a great example about how we've taken classic gameplay from Paradise and expanded it to kind of suit the island. So this is a, a car park, but unlike a, any car park you've seen in Paradise. Yeah, and it's not just being able to drift up to the top, is it? So at any point you can normally jump out now. There's no walls. We, if, you know, if you can see it, you can drive there even if I'm halfway up yeah. a, a parking structure and things. So it's, it's really exciting to have that kind of freedom. The airfield and the quarry were the most popular spots in Paradise City. You know, people love hanging out there and playing there. We can see from the telemetry we get back that there's just so many crashes and so many jumps happening in those areas. We had to put more places like that on the island. This is the construction site, which is one of those areas which just has some incredible activities for us. So, Tommy, do you want to show us what you can do in here? Yeah, it's like a mini playground again, like the quarry. It's just full of cool things you can do with your friends. Um, so as we come in, first thing you're going to see is there's a bunch of barrel roll ramps, which is really, really cool, but um, particularly good for playing online stunt run. There's this big bowl area. It's a bit like a like a, a proper half pipe skate park. You can drop in. It's really, really good for doing 180s and 360s. You actually jump from there you can jump straight out of there and land on the road on the other side and then as we drive up um, we drive up to the top and we get to the second layer uh, so this is quite exciting isn't it because this isn't just a flat playground this is about height you know it's not just a bowl and some jumps you can just if you look up you can just keep going up all these different layers and each one has new things for you to do new things for you to jump off several ways to get up there as well so there's a, there's a simple route up here from the center of the construction yard but there's also shortcuts out the back that lead you up to the different levels yeah it's such an incredible view from the top of this place as well yeah you can see the white way over to paradise yeah looking back on that is it's great for us actually to see you know where we've come and we're here now in Big Surf Island it's, it's beautiful what a great way to end this week's show looking out back to Paradise City here we are in Big Surf Island so that was just a fraction of all of the new things you get to do in Big Surf Island so which comes out very soon on the next episode of Crash TV we'll be bringing part two of this Big Surf Island expose all about the new vehicles the brand new Big Surf Island license and even all the exciting things you can do online and Probably a little bit more as well, surprises thrown in. So if you want to make sure you get the episode, make sure you subscribe to Crash TV on uh, iTunes, our YouTube channel, which is Burnout Team Rocks. Look for us up on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or just check at criteriongames.com slash podcast. Uh, I'm Island Pete. I'm signing off. Thank you very much. And I'm Tommy. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>